What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this week's episode of the Tesla Geek Show. I'm Anwar Beck. And I'm Eli. And this week's episode is sponsored by... <laughs> yeah, there's no way anybody's going to sponsor us for this one. <laughs> but we want to say thanks so much to our friends at Evanex for always being so supportive of us. Evanex is the Tesla community's accessory store. Man, crazy stuff going on in the news right now, guys. This is insane. It's so crazy. I can hardly believe it. So I guess we'll go ahead and kick it off. I never expected this, but the Ford Motor Company doubles down on its competition against Tesla by starting its very own EV line called the Edison. Dude, I saw that. And did you see this? The first two models they released look almost exactly like the Model 3 and the Model S. This is so crazy, dude. I, I don't know if you guys know the backstory of like Tesla versus Edison, right? Like, Ford basically is kind of like duplicating that competition that they had. So uh, we kept talking about, or the whole market kept saying the Tesla killer is coming. The Tesla killer is coming. Well, the Tesla killer is finally here. And it's called Edison. And it's called Edison. Who expected that? Ford wanted to bring back like a hundred year old beef that history hasn't forgotten and have them refight it out in the modern age. This is crazy, man. And where it gets even more insane is how Elon clapped back by changing his mind on the Cybertruck design. Hey, to my friend Mark Benton, you're gonna absolutely love this. So the Cybertruck, the Cybertruck as we know it is canceled and Elon Musk has re-released a new render that is basically an exact copy of the Ford F-150. Dude, I mean, it makes total sense. What's the number one selling truck in America? The F-150. So Elon knows that it's gonna sell. Unlike the Cybertruck, like, people weren't sure, you know? We all thought that Elon was trolling us when... Look, I know the Cybertruck <laughs> had half a million pre-orders, but now that he's redesigned the F-150, he could probably sell a billion of them. Yeah, yeah. I think you remember during the Cybertruck unveil, we all sat there and looked when this thing came out. We're like, dude, Elon's definitely trolling us. We didn't realize that it's going to take a month and a half for him to finally reveal what the actual design of the Cybertruck looks like. And it looks eerily close to the F-150. And think about all those trucks he showed us on screen. He was doing nothing but foreshadowing that he was going to make a truck that looked exactly like everyone else's. I'm just, I'm shocked that they went to all this effort to come up with like that Cybertruck design and... Trolls the Meme Master General, baby. He just like pranked the whole universe. It was, that was one of the coolest moves ever pulled. If he wasn't already a meme god, he'll now go down in April Fool's history. <laughs> I just totally thought that they would go ahead and reveal the actual design at the event, but... It's crazy that Elon took like a month and a half, two months to actually reveal it. But I think people will be super excited, especially the F-150 owners, that they'll be getting like a Tesla EV version of the F-150. Yeah, I mean, now there's no reason to buy another F-150. You might as well just buy it from Tesla. So here's another one, though, that I think more owners are going to be excited about, especially you, Anwar Beck, because yeah. you're actually near the front of this line. Tell everybody what's happening. Dude, unexpected news. We totally thought the next generation roaster was going to be made at the end of 21 or something like that. But Elon has basically made a mandate at Tesla and moved up the schedule. So the next gen roaster are going to start producing August 2020. And this is absolutely shocking. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I wasn't figuring we'd see this car until at least like 2055. I was planning on driving my Model 3 for at least a couple of years. I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and put it up for sale because I got to make room in the garage for my next generation roaster with the SpaceX package. I'm super excited for you, man. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to see the videos we make while it's flying. Yeah, dude, it's going to be insane. So there's something else that happened this week that I've got to call the Tesla community out on for you guys just being extra. So yesterday... NASDAQ had to halt trading of Tesla stock for a full 15 minutes because, and I quote, there was an unprecedented amount of orders at the order price of 42069. I don't know if I should be <laughs> ashamed or proud of you guys. I think I should be proud. So many of y'all placed orders for 42069. They had to halt trading because they thought it was an error in the computer buying algorithms that just got stuck on this magical number. So great job, Tesla community. You should give yourself a round of applause hey. for all for, for, for all of your actions actually caused them to have to stop trading on the market. And I got to be honest, I bought a few shares at 420, but it wasn't at 42069. So I was really frustrated because my order got held up in that shutdown. That's awesome. Uh, so finally this week, the main thing that everybody's talking about, Tesla kicks off deliveries of the new Model Y. Wait, what's the model? Why? What do you mean why? That's what Tesla does. So what's the model? Dude, I already told you. Why, why, why? 
Yes, because that's what they do. No, dude, the name of the model is the letter Y. <laughs> oh, well, why did they call it that? <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for listening to this week's episode of the Tesla Geek Show. We're so glad to have you be a part of a community. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And happy April Fool's Day. (laughs) Peace. Peace.